Okay, I'm ready to play more Red Prison, and we have a surprise. Found some music I can use. It should help uh, class it up a little bit, you know, in increase immersion. And let's continue. And here I am. See, it seems to fit so well, doesn't it? Okay. I am on level 3. I'm a human fighter. I love love. Incidentally, I was reviewing my past video, and... Mm, see, I picked human because I like the variant rule where I can... I get a feat at level 1. And I didn't see any feats in this. So it's like, human just blah. <laughs> the non-variant rule fighter in fifth is blah. I'm sorry, no. I'll play a, I'll play a freaking half elf for that. I see ghoul there and it freaks me out. It's, it's a dead body. I was, it's, technically, it's a dead her body, right? A destroyed body. Because the undead are technically dead already, right? And made by negative energy. Yeah, I'll score that torch. How many torches do I have? It's counting, right? I have one. So I'll get it. Now I have... Um... One? It didn't... Okay, okay. It's different. I'm pointing with my finger. Christ. They're not counting torches. Um, well, they are, but they take up their own slot, you see? Torches won't stack, like, um... Like... Uh... Well, needles, obviously, like arrows, like... I'd say they probably should, I mean... Yeah, I'd, I'd let them stack. I mean, like, food... Ra like, rations will stack, and the... What the hell's that? Giant toad? Like, if I was, like, a halfling, what if that thing would, like, eat me? It'd be really bad. Giant toad crits me? Foko, you are my only friend. <laughs> Uh, it's like, uh, he hits me for nine? Possible. Kill him. I hit for four. I'm bludgeoning him with one D. Ew, what am I doing? I'm not wielding my weapon? It's not cool. Alright, so I. I'm not illuminated. So what the hell? I'll just use Great Axe. There we go, Great Axe, one D3. Take that, Toad. Boom! For twelve. What's that? Get that. Half plate? Okay, I'm not getting. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I get used to that. I'd like to see like zero of eleven or dead or something there, just so just so I know. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I see white like that means like I can talk to them or something, right? Let me see if I'm still recording. Just to double check that. I am excellent. Start timer. Let's just keep track that I don't forget where I'm what I'm doing. Uh, so half play, huh? I, now I was looking through the commands a bit. X. X is auto exploit and little X is examine. So that's like the look command, I guess. It's weird, but. Alright, I'm gonna look at this guy. You see, Fokoyo. I look at myself. Okay. I wanna X at my knight. Okay. You see, knight equipped with ring mail and carrying long sword. So. He's normally not carrying anything? That's wild. That, that's weird. You see, Acolyte. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking it's showing what I equipped them with. I think they probably have what's in the back of the monster manual. So I probably like nerf the knight. So I'm gonna actually uh, talk to him from here and unequip uh, F2. And then de equipped, de equipped as they say, the ring mail. Did he drop it? No, I don't think so. Alright, so that will. That probably get his arm class back to the plate he's probably wearing by default. I don't know. I should be able to look at their stuff even, you know, I mean, you could like, I mean, I understand why, probably why he didn't do that to like, make it so, oh, come on, come on guy, like the torch. That, that he made it so because, um, the, the, their inventory is essentially not accessible by you, so you can't strip them and take their stuff, right? But you could always just say like, he won't give it up or something. Okay, the acolyte here's something. Come on, Acolyte, you got the freaking torch, man. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna have the bandit light the torch. You light a torch too, bandit. Does it... I wonder. Did it take a torch from me? Did I give him a torch to light? I don't think so, because I still have the three. I don't know. Unclear to me. So I'm on level three, uh, level four, and I am level three. We're close to leveling, actually. Let's keep going here. Yeah, the music's really helping me. It's really helping me pull into the game, and I hope it's helping you too. It does fit quite well. It's uh, Knight says, "Be careful. I think I hear something nearby." 
This is from a uh, COAG. Um, seems a really, really cool individual. Who's a lot of really, really cool music. Um, I guess he's the he's the one who behind the um, baboon. Die baboon. <laughs> I hit baboon for four with the great axe. I will. I rolled a one. I would still kill them. Hmm. Anyway, COAG. He did the. Uh, I was gonna say he did the soundtrack for uh, DDA. I think it was. Um, what was it? No, I can't think. <laughs> Um, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, get out of here. Uh, a, a roguelike, essentially. I, I did a, uh, I have a current Let's Play going on it. Um, Cataclysm, uh, Dark Days Ahead, yeah, that's a DDA. Uh, it, it, I, I say that because, essentially, the game has, like, no, 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 not much sound and no official music, but he, he's... He, he's essentially part of a, a pack for a, a sound pack download for that game, and he, he said they can all use it, which is really cool. But yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna just fire because I should be able to throw a javelin at him. Yeah, that's cool. I uh, hit the javelin for six. All right, that's cool. That's actually pretty convenient. That's not a bad way of doing it. That has F fire, and it will fire anything that, that is thrown by hand that I have the launcher for, right? Because I'm, I'm launching it by hand. You said. Let's keep going here. Yeah, I mean, it helped me get into the game. I hope it's helping you too, and I hope you check out his uh his YouTube page. He's pretty cool. He's got lots of really... another javelin. Want to back and fire both? Hopefully, it'll oh that's the stare down. That will um that will fire uh preferably the magic one first because I want to get the hit, and then as I close the second one. Let's try the uh, auto explore. Okay, okay, okay. He's okay. You know, honestly, I've never really been fond of this. It's like. It's like watch, it's like watching someone else play the game. It's like I remember my first exposure to that kind of AI was, what was it? Uh, damn Microsoft um, it was released game. I think it came out around 2000 or so. I don't remember was that. It was like the game would almost play itself. The AI was so, and they, they bragged about this. I couldn't. I'm sure I remember it later. It unnerved me. I didn't like it at all. Ah, it's on tip of my tongue, and I can't remember. This room looks familiar. Was that? I'm gonna get that. I can't carry more hands. Then I will not get that. I don't really need it. I hope there's stores in this. No, I should have tried to do upstairs. See if I can like leave. It's like I'm thinking like this is like Angband. There's like a town above, above the keep, above the uh, the prison. Be careful! I think I hear something nearby. The high wisdom character says he hears something. Probably hears something. There's your know, wisdom. Is, uh, it gives you a modifier based off uh, perception. It gives you a modifier to your uh, your your perception in 5D. I believe that's how it is. It's been a little while since I've looked at it. Is there anything else here? Yeah, the east. To here. Let's go over there. Hawk. Dead hawk. Oh, you mountain. <laughs> now you need more dialogue, man. I mean, it would be really cool if it like um like every time he talks like wah wah or something like that. Not quite wah wah, but you know, like uh, it's like something indicating he's talking. Like um a magica. A magica story mode or whatever you have with that, that <laughs> they hit something like that, how they talk. It's just it's hilarious. This is why I dealt with that ogre. He was like the boss of the floor, I think. He was he was, he was, he forced me to pay attention. He was tough. He could have wiped us. A few lucky hits. I mean, he's probably not going to hit me. I got a pretty good, damn good AC. I'm 21 in 5th edition at 4th level. That's excellent. Hmm. I think I cleared everything, honestly. Yeah, but the rooms do seem bare. Hey, yeah. Need some, need some furniture in this uh, prison, man. I mean, I'm sure that's like, oh, like more sprite work, right? Like you can put like uh, this. Look at this. This is a uh, like it's a room with two doors. This way, nothing was locked. I don't know if there are locks in this, but this is a guard barracks, maybe or a guard office. So there'd be like a bed here, maybe a table over here, a chair. You know. Oh, but you, I, I kind of enjoy map building, uh, world building, uh, GMing. It's like setting up uh, the world. You're essentially generating the thing. Just, uh, playing. 
Okay, there we go. Very nice. So come on, come on. You can come here, like rare. Well, I can still kind of feel my way through. I don't think there's anything left here. Oh, just up north. Uh, northeast. Now, playing a game like this, you do want to use the memory pad. It gives you, um, what's it? All the, all the, uh, the cardinal directions. North, northeast, southwest, all that stuff. So we'll go through here. Hmm. Uh, pretty much just that. <laughs> pretty much just that. Ooh. So that was worth getting. I carry more items. Hmm. I want to kind of just fire at the, uh, well, I don't want to fire my friend, uh, it's like a target to fire. No, I can't just fire it anywhere. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Uh, alright, I want to, I have to spread some of my stuff around. Uh, inventory management. Like, this, this is a little clunky, giving items. I'd like to give, like, multiple items, like, even in, like, select multiples, say, I want to give them. Uh, what do I want to give him? What do I want to give him the great club. Let's get that. Now I wish to equip uh, Z, the great sword. And I wield the great sword, which is a 2d6, which is much better than the 1d12. Than the, uh, right? Because it's, uh, it's better. Because you can get a 1 1, right? Because you're rolling 2d6 as opposed to 1d12. So the 1d12 can give you a 1, whereas 2d6 always gives you minimum 2. See, so 2 die. Uh, let's keep going here. Alright, that's it for this. Uh, way down is right there. If I. Uh, so that's just auto explore shift X. See where it'll take me. Say so stop, stop, stop. I, I did miss it a little bit. Now, I think I should probably take that torch. The inventory management is clunky in this. Place. That, that, that could do some work. Uh, okay. Inventory management. I don't know. Give an item to carry, man. Wait, is this seriously? Okay. Uh, let's give some studded. Can we get that? Yeah, get it. Yeah, she's room seem empty. I mean, listen to this music and playing it, I'm getting a massive Diablo. First Diablo vibe to it. I mean, it makes me miss the shrines you can find in there. It's like you're creeping around the damn crypts and dealing with the butcher. So, you know, like, that dark, that dark ass shit. You can see, like, um, the, the sort of, like, the bodies impaled that were the horrible implements in the rooms. Like, that would be the kind of ambience this game could use. Just to, uh, Literally dress the rooms up a bit. Because, I mean, this is a prison, right? Is it a prison for nice people? Is it run by nice people? Probably not. Now, yeah, additionally, I was noting I was probably using too much rest because I didn't know, uh, at the time note that I was consuming my rations. I just want to check do I have rations? I don't think I do. Is see if it'll let me rest? Shouldn't be able to, technically. Let's see. You cannot rest without any food rations. Ha ha, got you. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, okay. I will see. Now, I thought there was a way of ordering my, my guys to use spells. I just want to see if the if the Acolyte has any cure wounds. How many how many cure wounds he has? I assume he has either two or three. And I don't think these guys are leveling either. Interesting. Give order. I mean, that's how I have to do it. Uh, give order to my. Uh, uh, well, whatever. Uh, use an ability. Uh, well, second wind. I, I already used it. Damn. Okay, fine. Let's go. Hmm. 
if there's something wrong here, go down. Come on. Let's get our booty down there. There we go. Rats. Guess we got cut at level one. I guess we must have lost one of my bandits. We must have got separated from the group. Fled in the night. I'm on level 4 and I'm level dungeon level 4 and I am level 4. I just like that box thermal. off. See, play in the air. Let's go in the air. What's that? Ocean of healing? Yes. Well, there you are. Ocean of healing. Now, I can X to uh, examine, right? It just it doesn't tell me much. Just what I equipped him with and such. Such. It's going an empty floor. It's over there. How is that? A harpy. Kill it. <laughs> the bandit burnt, brandishes his weapons menacingly. Uh, uh, uh. Am I hitting him? Miss, miss. Harpy's pie, I see. It's like scale. Okay, look at it. And scale mail on the floor. Okay, get okay, okay, okay. uh, Fine, fine, fine. Hmm. I could name them some mules or something, like, because they're carrying my stuff. Give item to carry. Uh, let's give him some leather. And I'll get scale. Uh, I already found the stairs down. Now, I'm not foolish enough to rush it. No way. Just taking it slow and steady, particularly as I used all my rations. It's used to like a different roguelike. I can see how the difficulty ramps up, and they, 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 they yeah, but they, the roguelikes are really, really good at letting you be um, hoisted by your own petard, pretty much. Is that a griffin? What the hell are you doing? Holy oh, shit! What the hell are you doing down here, man? Back it up! Back it up! Shit. Fuck. Look at that shit. Can I examine? You see Griffin. Ah, damn it. Thank you. I'll give him 59 hit points. I mean, he beat the shit out of me. Can I check the war log? No. Well, he hit me really freaking hard. I had like 27 hit points. And I, yeah, alright. Let's see if I can throw through my own guys. Your man is not unconscious. Jesus. Did I... I hit the Griffin for 5. Oh, you have nothing to fire at? Guess I could find. Chaplain. Uh, uh huh. So, it, yeah, I'm trying to fire again, it's not letting me. Hmm. Now, I have another javelin, though. We'll give him hits in 411. Jesus. Can I fire again? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, hit the griffin for 8. I'm pretty good at throwing that, that stuff. Uh, no way of knowing what the griffin is at currently, though. It just as his current hit points. You can't tell, I guess. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's equip uh, the short bow, right? B. And we'll fire, because I can fire right through him. This is the annoying mission. Mm. Seriously, game. Yeah, actually, here's what I'm gonna do. Now, equip the pike. Okay, uh, I'm gonna shine along with my knights for the last. I'm gonna, yeah, hit him with the pike. Oh yeah, see behind the knight, I'm reaching over him. I might, I might just stick with this. Pike, 1d10. Uh, get my stuff. Get, get. Act, okay, so the acolyte had a heal spell left. Cool. So I was talking about it getting easy. You know, starting to ramp up now. That griffin was tough. The arrow keys? Getting a little clunky. Which worries me. It's like, what, what are you doing, game? What, what are you doing that you're so busy? Mm. Yeah, there's something there. Seems like there should be. I don't know. It's, that's an interesting room. What the hell is that? A rhinoceros? What the hell are you doing down here? Ooh, a magic hand axe. Is that my location? It's up there. 
Jesus, freaking rhinoceros. What the Seriously? I'm gonna back my ass up. I'm gonna charge me down. I mean, the act like casting fun of the rhinoceros to no effect. Uh, I'm going to equip. Well, actually, I should be able to just throw the javelin at him from here, right? No, oh, it doesn't look like I can. Let's see. Ooh, made it there. Stay away from my master, you beast. Oh god, that's that's a little messy. Well, let's equip the uh, the short bow. The band is knocked unconscious. That's lucky he's knocked unconscious. Lucky he didn't get trampled. All right, uh, and I think I have to equip the arrows separately. Ugh, Very well, makes sense. Uh, hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna hang my butt back here. That's a little loud. Skip that one. I like that one. Alright. So, no, let's just keep shooting him. He probably has a pretty high AC, honestly. Alright. I like um like a coloring to the log too, like me, like I should be a certain color, right? My attack should be a certain color, enemy attack should be a certain color, like make the enemy red maybe, right? Just to, to draw it. To draw the attention. Boop. Then it's knocked unconscious. I am hitting him, so it's not making me roll uh like roll when I was just a dead four fifty. Like, I'm used to older editions, I think. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I prefer it. It's like, um, you take a, like a minus four modifier for firing into a melee, right? Because everyone's moving around. Or... You have to roll to hit each target, right? So, like, say, you're firing... Like, you're behind, like, your fighter, right? And you're firing... You're trying to shoot the guy he's fighting. Well, you gotta hit him in the back, right? It's, I mean... It, it, it's the issue 5e has with range being so overpowered because they don't have those modifiers firing into melee. They don't make you roll to hit different targets. They just so range becomes overrated because becomes overpowered because they don't have to close to the melee. They can just fire at max distance and dance around, right? Because that's why Dex is the stat for 5e because it gives you AC, gives you reaction speed, gives you initiative. That's something else I'm noticing in this game. I don't think they're they're rolling initiative or anything. It's just we go, they go, we go, we we go, they go, which is is it's a missed opportunity. I think I'd like to see that added as well. Uh, give him something to carry. Yeah, I'd like like see in this too. I'd like to give him a bunch of stuff to carry. Like here, carry that. I like to like select boom, boom, boom. You know, because there's a lot of stuff I want now. Um, what's that? Get that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's that? Get the rhino, the arrows. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Uh, yeah, the, this this kind of clunk. That this can be cleaned up. A uh, B. I'm just carry. Uh, hmm. We'll carry that. Great. Uh, get that. Like in crafting too, like rhinoceros hide. That'd be super thick. Like an awesome hide shield you can make with some incredible other armor. Like crafting. This game needs crafting. I mean, you're down this damn dungeon, right? Wasn't it? Or something like finding a crafting station or something. Oh, it's a prison, right? It's a massive prison. This is interesting. How is that? Oh, plate armor. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I wear plate. Oh, it's only 19. Okay. The split mail of necrotic resistance. It's a plus three armor. Holy crap! It's really good armor I got there. All right, so. Um, what I'm going to do is give my knight my, the plate I just picked up. Give him to equip A, and I'll give him the uh, plate now. Cool. And we'll do that one more time. We'll just interact with my knight, and I will give him. Uh. uh uh, the scale as well. Sure. Mm 
hear loud grinding sounds and ground shakes. So some walls shifted, I think. Look big rooms. More, more armor. So they give me armor. Really, quite a bit of armor now. What's that? Common armor? What the hell are you doing down here? Well, you'll probably join me, right? You can miss a common or join your cause. What the hell are you doing here, man? <laughs> it's like, it kind of is like an encounter table, and they're just adding things in. It's just, alright, you're here, let's generate. You're here, okay. It's no rhyme or reason to it. Mm. Like a progress, you know. Oh, yeah, you're my only friend. Okay, yeah, you're my only friend. Now they're fighting over me. Great. <laughs> like, I'm gl almost glad there are no traps because I was just running through a dark end room like a madman. I mean, there, there are like. There aren't really like traditional traps. I mean, uh, you know, I can argue maybe they wouldn't have been set yet. I mean, it's a prison, right? I mean, the guards have to wander around and do stuff, right? That's right, came in. Where are we going? 24 minutes. Uh, let's see here. Just make sure I was plugged in there, huh? A little wary. What is over here? Mm -hmm. So, we see we're not, notice we're not healing over time as we walk. We gotta rest for that, right? We don't bring regeneration. They don't, don't roll like that. We're not trolls. Is that a helper? Something else I need to pick up, right? <laughs> uh, Alright. Bandit, you get some more stuff. Uh, inventory management. I will give you an item to, to a quick show. Why not? I will give you half plate. He equips it. Why not? Get. I can't tell, but I, it doesn't show that they're wearing anything. They have to have the default equipment, though, and the game doesn't want to show it to me, so they're afraid I'll take it. Just to show it to me and say, like, they, they won't give up their armor unless you give them something better, and they'll trade. Have, like, a, like a barter system, almost like uh, Ultima Underworld had. It doesn't have to be that precise, you know, that detailed. Similar kind of system. Just with the, uh, what's allowed, what's not, what they'll give up, what they won't. Baldur's Gate, like, had stuff like that, like... I think it did. Yeah, certain... Like, Minsk from First Baldur's Gate, right? The, the, oh, that... I don't, I don't, that was very bad. I was just holding down, down, down. Don't ever do that in a row. Like, you, you, I could have just died. It was a riding horse. wasn't going to happen. But I had a bow, and I was firing someone directly in front of me, so I was attacking disadvantage. It wasn't a good idea. That was really stupid. I'm gonna keep the bow, but I have to remember I'm just, I'm gonna fall back if I encounter anything. I'm gonna hide behind my guys. Cause I have ten hit points. Look after yourself, Fokoyo. I need you. Sure thing, bandit. Uh, uh. Come on guys, come on. What's that? One hammer? Get it. Alright. Hmm. Ah, silly. Uh, 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 gargoyle! 53, 52 hit points! Alright, that this is fine. Woo! Commodore's knocked unconscious. Gargoyle, yeah, hey. Did I hit him? No, I missed. Fire again. Woo! Hmm. Oh, critically hit for 8. Cool. Gargoyle's dead. He went down pretty easy. Four fifty. The bandit is dead. Was it my bandit? Oh, oh enemy bandits. Okay. All right. I, thought I lost my guy. All right. Um, I'm there, so I'm just gonna start shooting. Uh, here. Uh, the knight critically hits bandit captain. Same right there. Woo! Night is not a conscious. Oh, this is not bad. Hmm. Like, it would be nice to know, like, indication here of what I've used. Have I used second wind? Have I used action search? Yes or no? Is it on cooldown? 
And another thing is, these are short rests. Like, the cool thing about the fighter, these come back on a short rest as opposed to a long rest. So, they're only giving back on a long rest. So, I should get these back after, I don't know, after a certain period of time. But, ah, I see why he didn't do that, because then, it's like, they encourage you to just walk around wasting time. There has to be, I don't know, give me like, if it, it's like, I don't know, maybe give me two uses, if they're going to limit me to a long rest. It, it's not, because it's supposed to be short rest. Short rest is like an hour. Long rest is eight, right? Depending you know, for the base rules. Uh, I might be dead now. I don't know. Uh, wait, no, I'm not dead. I'm going to drink the potion of healing. Okay, and the acolyte's already down. Okay, can he cross a corpse? Hmm. Hate to give him up, but the acolyte's of limited use to me at this point. I will equip the pike. There's an F. Then I will uh, fire. Actually, you know, he's, he's a humanoid, right? We'll talk, Bandit. You failed to convince a Bandit Captain to join your cause. Okay, then I will fire. Huh. <laughs> the Vokio critically hits a Bandit at 19. Bandit is dead. Alright. Uh, X. Let's see who that is. Bandit Captain. So, well, obviously. Boop. I miss. He. All right, so this is a bit of an exploit. They won't, they won't attack the downed characters to get to me, and they, or they won't, they won't just cross over them because they, they're still blocking the terrain. That that they shouldn't do that. They should either, if they're like monstrous creatures, like ghouls, they'll, they would just tear into that that uh, downed individual because he's not dead. Consume him right then and there, right? Uh, like like animals would do that too. Um, or they'll just step over the body because you're no longer controlling your space if you're down. So that, that's that's something that needs to work on, I think. Because so I can just use that as an exploit right here. With the pike. And it's dead. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything. And he'll die. Whoop. Whoop. Crocodile's like, uh uh. <laughs> the crocodile. Crocodile to four. That's not good. Oh crap! The game didn't like what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, back it up. Oh! We were knocked unconscious by the crocodile. No, I think I might be dead. Um. 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 Unconscious. The bandit dropped a little plate. The bandit dropped so my bandit. Am I dead? Okay, knight is dead. No! He bled out. Oh god. And the knight is dead. Oh, I needed him. I think we're all gonna bleed out. Alright. That light is dead. No. And I'm probably dead too. Cause I'm bleeding out right now. It's just not showing it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 I know I'm not dead, because we're making we I like I'd like to see the death saves we're making, because you need three death saves in fifth. Um it, they don't do ne negative ten. I, I actually prefer negative ten. Cause you can just be instant kills easier. This, this, it's making death saves. I'd like to see the death saves. It's not showing me, but I'm, I'm probably dead. My plus two. I'm dead, yeah. No! <laughs> I've died. Okay. I learned a bit. And there's some, some bugs to work out. I will mention this, 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 and these will result. But then, maybe that's what the crocodile is for. <laughs> You've died. I know, I know. Thank you very much. It's just gonna. Okay. And B, continue. No save. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so I'll do another. That was about a half hour. I'll do another Let's Play um, of this game, and I'll think I'll play a magic user this time. And I'll be more careful because I know about a few different things. And I'll take a different group as well. Anyway, uh, please watch. I hope you enjoyed it.